Hi guys, welcome to Patrick Pan channel. In this video, we're gonna learn about React hooks. Alright, let's get started. So, what is a hook? React hooks were added to React in version 16.8. Hooks allow function components to have access to state and other React features. Because of this, class components are generally no longer needed. Auto hooks generally replace class components there are no plans to remove classes from React. Hooks allow us to hook into React features such as state and lifecycle methods. Alright, let's see some example. First of all, you need to install React project. So I use Vidjs, so you can use the same as me. Okay, just um, use this command. You can use npm create vid at latest. So let's copy this, open your terminal and go to um, desktop and paste these commands here enter and then choose your project name I'm gonna use learn dash react hook okay enter and then select a framework we're gonna use react and select a variant we're gonna use react again alright next we're gonna cd into learn react hook folder and then we're gonna use npm i to installing dependencies okay okay after finishing install we're gonna open this up okay and then you go to view and go to terminal we're gonna start our project by using npm run dev okay and go to this localhost part 5173 okay and there it is we got our app running all right next we're gonna go to ARC folder and go to app.jsx as you can see this is our default application code inside this file we got use state imported we got react logo we got app.css and then we are using use state hook right there so when you want to use hooks in react you need to import like this alright so right there we import use that hook and then we using it the first hook that we're gonna learn in this video is use that hook as you can see right here so we are using the use that hook to keep track of the application state and I believe some of you guys might wondering what is state well state generally refers to application data or properties that need to be tracked so there are three rules for hooks First, hooks can only be called inside React function components. Second, hooks can only be called at the top level of a component. And third, hooks cannot be conditional. Note that hooks will not work in React class components. To use the use state hook, we first need to import it. But as you can see, we are already imported the use state hook. The next step, we're gonna initialize our use state hook. Let's initialize it. The use state accepts an initial state and returns two values. First is the current state, and the second is a function that updates this state. Okay, let's create a color state and set color function. And we're gonna call our use state hook and we're gonna initializing our default value for our state so I'm gonna use um, blue so the blue is the our data or our state so the name and the function you can name anything that you like okay the next step let's read our state so we can now include our state anywhere in our component and I'm gonna read state right there let's create p tag and then we're gonna read our state i'm gonna type my favorite color is and when you need to display our state or our data you can use curly braces for displaying our value okay we're gonna use our color state and put it inside curly braces okay that's it hit save and go back to chrome as you can see at the bottom our value displaying right there my favorite color is blue alright next I'm gonna show you how to update our state so when you want to update state you can use state updater function or this function set color okay let's see the example so below this p tag we are gonna create button 
and set our button type to um, button and we're gonna use on click event so when you click on this button the on click event gonna trigger the function that we pass to it okay so right there we're gonna use our state updater function which is set color there okay let's copy this and create um, return arrow function okay and we're gonna call set color function and when you click this button we're gonna update new value or new state so I'm gonna set the new value to um, rate because our default value is blue right and name our button to um, update okay hit save and go back to Chrome okay as you can see we got our button so let's see the result when you click on this button update just click there we go as you can see we got my favorite color is red so our state is updated okay this is how to update state in react by using state updater function next I believe some of you guys might be wondering what can state hold the use state hook can be used to keep track of strings numbers booleans arrays objects and any combination of these we could create multiple state hooks to track individual values okay as you can see right there we have two states here and you can create many state as you want okay let's see um, I'm gonna create a brand and set brand state and we're gonna call you state and set the default value to um, for it okay and then we're gonna create three more new state okay so next model and set model and set it to Mustang and next we have year and set year and then we set it to um, 2022 and next um, color so we can use this color right there I'm gonna change it to um, rate okay that's it and then we're gonna display our data from our state all right let's get rid of this code okay and create h1 and type my brand and create p tag it is a color model from year okay that's it hit save and go back to chrome okay this is the result as you can see it is a rate Mustang from 2022 okay guys apart from this we can just use one state and include an object in state so right now we have about five state right okay so let me show you some new example okay just comment this code out and then just create new state just create um car and set car and call you state so we can use object and hold some property inside the state so we're gonna create object and inside this object we're gonna have a brand property and assign some value to it we're gonna set it to for next model to um, Mustang next year to 2022 and the last one is color great all right that's it and then when you want to display our data you can access to this car state and access to this property okay let me show you um, right there h1 you can use car state and use dot and then access to brand property okay and we can do the same with color model and year just go um, use car state dot color car dot model and car dot year that's it hit save and go back to Chrome okay as you can see we got the same result we switching from creating multiple state to using just one object so the next example I'm gonna show you how to updating objects and arrays in state so when state updated the entire state gets overwritten what if we only want to update the color of our car if we only called set car and set it to color blue this would remove 
the brand, model, and year from our state, right? We can use the JavaScript spread operator to help us. Okay, let's see the example so you guys will understand more. Okay, right here we have car state and we using the object to hold our data, right? So if you want to update such as um, color of our car, we're gonna create a new function called update color. So we're gonna create update color function. And then we're gonna call set car function inside this function. Okay, and then we're gonna receive the previous state. Okay, I'm gonna receive previous state and return. So, like I said before, when state is updated, the entire state gets overwritten. So here, we're gonna use spread operator to help us update just one state, which is the color of our car, right? So we're gonna bring all our state by using dot 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 or three dot, which is spread operator. And then we're gonna take previous state like this and follow by data or state that we want to update. So in our case, we're gonna update the color of our car, right? We're gonna update the color to blue. Okay, that's it. And then we're gonna create new button and set our button type to button and using the on click event. So when we click on this button, we're gonna call this update color function. Okay, we're gonna pass to this button and name our button to update color. Okay, hit save and go back to Chrome. Okay, we got our button there. So just click it. All right, as you can see, our state changed and the previous state still there. And some of you guys might be wondering what if we don't use this spread operator? Okay, let's try something fun. So if we remove this spread operator like this and hit save, go back to Chrome. Okay, refresh. And when you hit update color button, as you can see, our state gonna disappear because when state is updated, the entire state gets overwritten. And we using the spread operator because we want to get all the previous state and we want to update just one state or one value, which is color. All right, so this is how we use the spread operator. All right, guys, this is how to use use state hook in React.js. I hope this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you guys soon in the next video.